Now snack bar is actually a way you can communicate with your user, the app user. If you want to give them some kind of message, you can use a snap bar. So let me show you an example. If I were to click on this button, the pink button that you see here, this is a floating action button. You can see that there's this message which comes up, replace with your own action. It stays there for some time and then it vanishes. So I can also, you know, move it like this. I can swipe it like this and uh, I can also change the duration of this message. So how do we really make this work? So in this case, we had taken a floating action button here. This is a floating action button is basically a simple button, but it has its own, you know, it, it is a little above than the base and to, to towards left from the right edge. So this is like floating in the, on the screen and that's why it is called floating action button. It was one of the things that was introduced in material design in Android. And uh, now let us see how can we really handle this. Uh, so if you make a basic activity in Android, which you make by, I can make it uh, like this also. I can click here, new, and then activity. If I were to choose the basic activity, then I will get the floating action button already there uh, in my app. So that's what I did. So you can see there's a main activity which extends uh, app compact activity and you have this floating action button here. The floating action button is defined here and if I were to take you to content underscore main, you will see that, uh, no sorry, not content underscore main. Uh, if I were to take you to activity underscore main here, you will see that floating action button is, the widget is defined here. This is the button here. So you get to use this button and uh, you can, you know, it's, it's very fancy actually to use this button because it looks very uh, different than a normal button. So you, as you can see, here's an ID, fab, F-A-B. And if I go back to main activity, then I can see that I have defined this button here in Java, floating action button, fab is equal to floating action button. This is the type casting that is being done. Find view by ID, r.id.fab. This is the ID which you saw in the XML. Now here, fab dot set on click listener, new view dot on click listener. This is a simple on click listener that we have set on this button. And inside the on click, we are using snack bar. Now coming back to where snack bar is, uh, you need a snack bar to give a message to your user and it can stay there for as much as you want and it can also go away after some time. So in this case, we have used length long. If you guys already know about toast messages, then it is similar to a toast message, but uh, it can also be used to have a button inside it, right? So a toast message is a simple message which just comes and goes. It cannot have a button inside it, but snack bar can have also have actionable buttons like we have it here, right? So if I were to show you this again, you can see that this is replaced with your own action and there is no button working here right now. Now, let me go here and uh, change this. So this is the way, you know, it takes uh, snack bar is, this is the make, this is the uh, method, static method that is there inside this class, snack bar class, static method that you can use. The first argument that it takes is a view. It needs a view where it can show itself, then a message replaced with your own action. So let me put it, some put something else here uh, I will write we changed the snack bar and then there is snack bar length long and there is something called short so I can also keep it short and now if I run this app then I will get to see the shorter duration of snack bar Now, as you can see, if I click, I've changed the, made the changes and now I'm going to run the app again. So I ran the app on my emulator and now if I click on it, I can see that the message has changed here. We changed the chain snack bar. If I want, I can also make this indefinite. So what indefinite does is it will make sure that the snack bar stays there for uh, infinite time and only the user can remove it now. So now let's run it again. Now you will see that this will not go away until unless I swipe it left or right. It's not going away. Now if I swipe it like this, then it goes away, right? 
Now, one more thing which is remaining is that we, uh, as I told you, snack bar has got action also inside it. You can put sort of a button there and the user can click on it and make it do something. So what I will do is right now it is not showing anything. This action is not showing up in the snack bar because I have not put any actionable inside it. So technically there should be action written here. And uh, if a user clicks on it, then something this this button sort of a button which action is should work so what we will do is we will put a, a listener to this and once we put the listener we will be able to now let's put a toast message here so now this toast message you click on action we have put a toast message here and now this toast message will show a toast uh, whenever so we will be able to see a toast whenever user clicks on this action let me run this app again so the app is here now let me click on this now as you can see action is appearing here because I have given some kind of actionable to be done when the user clicks on the action button here right so I personally call it a button only you can call it something else also but for to me it's action if I click on this then there's a toast here you clicked on action right so this is what uh, a very basic understanding of snack bar is of course there are a lot of other changes that you can do to a snack bar and make it usable as per your liking and as per your requirement thanks